Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to take a very quick look at a couple of things on the table we have here. This, believe it or not, is actually an F3 flight controller, a brushed version, and we also have a NASI 32 brushed little flight controller as well. Now, until recently, making something like a little brushed quadcopter was a bit of an exciting time because there was so much that you had to try and figure out because a lot of the software, the boards that we're using were all a little bit exotic. But in the last three or four months in particular, there has been a huge explosion in the availability of all the pieces. So it's actually really easy to build your own quadcopter. Now, some of the ones that we've seen on the channel already, we have things like the QX90, which I'm a huge fan of. This is just so much fun. We've already done a review video on this, so if you want to know more about this model here, you can go and have a look. It binds to an FR Sky receiver, and it worked beautifully indoors, has just enough power to kind of manage outdoors as well. We've also done things with this H36. Uh, we added this little camera unit on the top and this camera unit means that we can add an FPV camera to pretty much anything these days and again if you want to go and watch the videos where we set this up and also added the little camera to the top then that's great as well. There's also lots of other FPV mini quads coming around too. This is one that we'll be looking at in November. It looks to me like a flying pig. I'm very tempted to paint this half blue and half red so it looks like a flying painless 360 pill. Uh, but this, believe it or not, is actually an FPV quad too. But I love building stuff for those of you that have watched the channel and now it's getting an awful lot easier. So we are going to use this kit. Now this kit is something called the X101. I'll put a link in the description and we'll talk a little bit more about the kit when we get there. But I just wanted to make you aware of these flight controllers and how easy it's going to be to actually build this thing now that these kind of things exist. So let me very quickly change onto a graphic. So this is the brushed F3 flight controller that we're using. It's going to run clean flight, it's going to run beta flight, just like the other stuff we've looked at. The connections are really straightforward as well. So let me very quickly show you how they go together. You plug the battery directly into the board at the back. There's one little set of soldered pads that lets you select between 1S and 2S LiPo batteries. The quadcopter that we're going to build is going to be a little unusual. Uh, we have 1020 motors here and we're going to run it on a 2S battery which should make it quite a nice little fast model. The next thing to talk about then is, believe it or not, there's a buzzer connection on here at the board at the top as well. So if you want to add a piezoelectric buzzer then you can. Personally, I'm probably not going to do that because I don't want the extra weight. Then to plug the motors in is relatively straightforward. We don't have any electronic speed controllers. The brushed speed controllers are actually part of the flight controller itself. It's all on this one board. So we just have to connect the wires coming in from the brushed motors to the board directly. We just solder them onto those pads. Last thing to talk about then are how you connect the receiver. This thing has a connection for something like a 3.3 volt satellite receiver and you can plug that into the three connections at the top. So if you want to use a little satellite, which would actually be quite a cute idea for a small quad, then you can. Or the way we're going to do it is if you plug in your receiver using SBUS or PPM into the positive, negative and receive pins on UART2 on the board itself, then you are good to go as well. Now we've used some FR Sky clones uh, that we've looked at previously in the channel that weren't fantastic, but they'll be great for this because I don't want hundreds and hundreds of meters of range. I just want enough to kind of fly around the house, fly around the back garden. I might use something like an XSR, one of the small FR Sky receivers, uh, just because that might give me a bit of range. It depends on the kind of performance we end up with. So those are the connections that we have on the board. So so long as you have your flight controller, you manage to get hold of some motors and props and a frame, then with the addition of a battery and a receiver, then you are pretty much good to go. So join me later in the month where we're going to start building this up and putting this all together. If there's any questions that you have in particular about building your own brushed quadcopter for indoor or light wind FPV flying, then please pop them in the description down below and we'll make sure we'll cover them as part of the series.
Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.